Hi, my name's Carl Watson. I'm the Global Process Safety Product Manager for Oil, Gas and Chemicals Business Unit within ABB. Today I'm going to explain to you a model that's commonly used in our industry to explain why incidents happen. It's called a Swiss cheese model. This is Gordon MacDonald from the UK Health and Safety Executive following the court's decision to find a number of companies involved in the 2005 Bunsfield incident. He challenged industry to be able to answer these three questions. Firstly, do we understand what can go wrong? Second, do we understand what barriers are in place to protect that from occurring? And thirdly, do we have information to assure us that those barriers are working effectively? So that's a person from the UK passing those three messages on and challenging industry. In 2015, I presented at the Texas A&M Instrument Symposium, where there was a person from the CCPS who opened that particular event. He posed industry with the same three questions, but added a fourth, know your role in that. So within ABB, we provide products, applications, and services to help our clients answer those three questions. So how do we do that? To explain this, I'm gonna use this simple example of a separator. We have flow coming in and flow going out. To control the level in that separator, we've got a level controller. So what can go wrong? Well, if we have a problem with that level controller, the level may rise. If it rises too high, we may overflow that particular vessel. If we overflow the vessel, then that, the hydrocarbons could flow and find a source of ignition. If it finds a source of ignition, then we could have a fire, maybe an explosion. That would have safety, environmental, and probably acid impacts from that particular event. So obviously we don't want that to happen. So what do we do? We put in place barriers to prevent that. So one such barrier could be a level interlock. Another barrier could be a high level alarm. So when the level gets high in that vessel, alarm sounds in the control room. And finally, we have a safety instrumented function. So when the level gets ultra high, it closes the feed into that vessel and the level can't get any higher. So that's how our customers answer the first two questions. So what goes wrong in operations? So to explain this, we're gonna use the Swiss cheese model I just I explained earlier. So if we think about it, if we didn't have any barriers and we had that failure on the level controller, it will lead to the event. We don't want that to happen. So we put in place a barrier. In this model, we're calling that barrier a slice of cheese. Now, when they have that failure on the level controller, we don't get the incident. Unfortunately, barriers aren't perfect. They've got holes in them, hence Swiss cheese. Now when we have the failure, we lead to the event. That's why we never rely on a single barrier. So we put it in place, multiple barriers, and no single failure can lead to the event. That's how our clients answer questions one and two. So what happens in operations? Well, let's consider that vessel. The level in that vessel isn't um, controlling very well at the set point. So maybe due to a disturbance or something like that. What does the operator do? Thinks to himself, I can control better the controller. And he places that controller into manual. As soon as that occurs, we're actually defeating that particular barrier. Our Swiss cheese analogy, we're introducing a new hole. Then, because that controller is in manual, the level isn't controlling very well at all. Let's say now that the level is rising, hit the alarm threshold, alarm enunciates, operator accepts it, then the, alarm go the level goes back down again. The alarm activates again, the operator accepts it, it's go back down again. It becomes annoying for the operator. So the operator thinks, I'll, I'll mask that alarm until the level control gets resolved. Soon as the operator masks that alarm, we've made the second barrier ineffective or introduced another hole in that particular slice of cheese. Sometimes later, a maintenance person comes along to do a maintenance task called a proof test on that final barrier. To do that task, they have to bypass or override that particular um, safety instrumented function. Soon as that override is placed, the third barrier becomes in ineffective and we introduce another hole in that final slice of Swiss cheese. Now we've got nice hole alignment in our Swiss cheese model, such that when we have a failure of the level control, we get the incident. 
So this is why it's very important for our clients to understand the health of their barriers. As you can see, it's never a single act by a single person at a single point in time that leads to these process safety incidents. And this is why being able to answer those three questions is very important for our customers. For more information on the products, the application and the services which ABB can provide, please have a look at the links below. Thanks very much for listening.